What is up, YouTube? Crisis Predator here, coming to you with another video of Layers of Fear. So the last episode, we ended up getting a a vial of blood to go along with our piece of flesh. How completely interesting this is. We've also banned the word creepy for, well, we substituted it, I guess, for the word odd. So we'll see how well that goes over in this video. All right, so we have here our vial of blood and our skin tissue. Let's see what the ever-changing crazy, no, odd. Odd world of uh, layers of fear has in store for us today. <laughs> so it begins. Okay, already from the very beginning, we have some interesting things going on. All right. Let's see here. Uh, we can't open this one. Alrighty. The music is super loud for whatever reason. I don't know why. Holy cow. Okay. So we're getting a bit more violent, it seems. Yeah, we are, uh... The more we progress, I think the angrier the... The, the entities become. I'm gonna see if I can turn down this music a little. The music is like super, super loud. We'll turn it down. We won't turn it all the way off, but we'll turn it down some. Okay. Um. Wow, that was that was intense. Ooh, we got a letter about a boy who wakes up in a cave. He finds a mysterious note and a gun. He then journeys through the various environments: woods, fields, rivers. Eventually, he winds up at a ca small cabin, where it turns out this has all been a product of his subconscious. Hmm. Brought upon by a traumatic childhood memory, he killed a guy who had murdered his father. Uh, th yeah, that's pretty tragic. Yeah. Be psychologically damaging. In the real world, he's been drooling in a loony bin this whole time. Well, that's not good. Get it? The twist is sort of gimmicky, but I think it works. Could you storyboard it for me? If you're interested, we'll send you the details right away. Frankly, I think you should take this job. It pays well, and it would take your mind off of, well, you know, everything. Uh, please let me know as soon as possible. Thomas Caldwell. That is our manager and our friend, supposedly. So he says, anyway. Let's see. Well, the door shut, so we all know what that is a telltale sign of. Look, more books! Wow! I didn't expect to see those here. Ooh, what's this? Haunting? Oh, oh hey! Wait, wait! I wasn't done reading that. That's not very nice at all. I don't know what happened to it. Uh, glasses? No, no. Nothing in there. What is this? <gasps> oh. Okay. Well, that was... That was unexpected. 
to say the least. Uh oh. Oh man. An empty room. D uh, creator's block. <laughs> I don't want to turn around. There's no door. <laughs> There's nothing. Oh crap. That means I have to turn back around. Oh. Wait, what? No. Oh. Uh. Okay. Huh. I, I don't know. Can I go back through this door? What? Okay. Creepy bald doll baby. Let's just let's just shut this back. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Uh, okay. The shadow is even creepy. I mean odd. Odd. No, I'm done. Done, 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 done. Oh goodness. No, I shut that door. I shut it. I know I did. Am I going to have to go back through there? Oh, man. Wait, what? Wait, what? <laughs> what? This was just in the other room. Oh, I don't know what to do. Well, the key. Hey, no, open. What do we have? Okay, space bar to read it. How can two people who once loved each other so fully, so profoundly, drifts so far apart. My husband barely speaks to me anymore. He just slithers in and out of his study, obsessively working on one failed painting after another. Well, that's not cool. He won't even sleep with me anymore. I can tell he's disgusted by me. The look he gave me the other day, that pathetic, hurtful look, a combination of shame, guilt, and repulsion, I have come to realize that I've become a monster in my own, in my husband's eyes. It feels like nothing a woman should ever experience. That is true. That is something a woman should never experience. I agree with that. Still, being the good wife that I am, I decided to realize my husband's fantasy. If he thinks me, if he thinks me a monster, I will sure as hell act the part okay that's not good hell hath no fury like <laughs> a woman's scorn that has been uh, a saying um, that I've heard plenty of times we have don't forget the 9th of June okay I don't know what's going on the 9th but we should definitely not forget. Alrighty. So. What the heck? <laughs> what the heck? Okay. We're just going to start blowing the doors off the hinges now. Uh, well, we do have a light. Thank goodness nothing crazy happened. Oh, man. Okay. I'm so, like, terrified to even turn around anymore. Okay. What do we have here? We have a painting. What's going on over here? These, these paintings, they just... They're so... What the heck? I said this place had a lot of books. But man, does it have a lot of books. Alright. Let's go turn this lamp on. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna go in this door here. Command decision. More books. Uh-oh. 
you know something nuts is going to happen, right? Down here, you know it's going to happen. Locked? Yep. <laughs> oh, no. I'm going around the corners. A little bit scary. Oh no. Is this a letter? Uh, I can't can't grab that. Oh crud. Okay. Such an odd house. What do we got? What do we got? Can't view anything. Here we go. What's on the floor? The wax. The candles must have been moved. Can we go up the ladder? Oh my god, we can! <laughs> okay, we're gonna have to move this ladder over somewhere. I I would say probably so. Uh, I don't know, maybe. Urgh, push it! No, we cannot push the ladder. Okay. Um, isn't really anything that we can do other than possibly go out this door? Oh, man. Okay. Hello, Mr. Painting. Oh! Oh, the ears! No, no, no! Ow! Ah! Oh, the ears! I don't know what the sound is, but I don't like it! It's so painful! Oh, crap! What is this? Okay. Okay. I think I'm just gonna run in a circle. What? Uh oh. Oh. Hello? I can't click on it. Hello? Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Um. I, I don't understand what this thing is saying. Do I answer the phone? I'm trying. I can't. I can't answer. I don't know what to do. All right, I have to look for a clue. All right, look for a clue, look for a clue. Bound to be one around here somewhere. A phone number or or something. What's in here? That really does hurt my ears. Like... Okay, we gotta we gotta look for something. I can't tell what it's saying either. Okay, there's nothing in there. The phone is back down here. So if I go this way, will the conversation continue? No. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, so so if we go this way, they'll say hello. No, <laughs> just just falls off the end. Okay. So then we'll go this way. Ah! Oh, yes, speakers. Oh, okay. So. Hello. Hello. Yes, speakers. Yes. What? What? What fire? Fire. Fire. Oh God. Oh, God. Is she? Is she? 
Which hospital? Uh oh. Uh, I'm on my way. Oh, this is not cool. Uh oh. So there was a fire. So that makes sense with the other rooms. So now where? Hello? Okay, I'm guessing this door? Uh-oh. Restless memories. Oh. Oh! What? Okay. Oh my gosh, what in the heck? This seems dangerous. Flapping horror, be quiet. Constantly flapping, eating other rats. Oh, goodness. I don't know what this says. Red thoughts. Oh, okay. Can we get out of this door? <laughs> oh, I, 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 I. What? So we can't punch it again. Okay. Interesting. Um. Okay, got papers. Can't really do anything with anything here. Okay. I'm still digging these shades, though. I wish I could get those shades. I definitely want the shades. Matches, pipes. Whomever these people are, they have a lot of matches and a lot of pipes, a lot of wine, and a lot of books. I hear someone crying. What is going on with these curtains? Shadow. What? Okay. Uh oh. So, what happened to the room? Oh my gosh. What the heck? Okay, alrighty. Let's see what's going on over here. Yeah. Uh. Excuse me. Uh, can you tell me what's going on? No? Okay. Moving along. And open again. Hope is the mind killer. Ay, ay, ay. We learned from our last experience. You must shut the door all the way. <laughs> and down. All the way down. Oh, no, no. All, all the way down. Nope. I guess we're going back up. Up. Yay. So maybe we'll stop at another floor that we passed last time? Possibly? Let's not stop here. No, 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 no! Oh. 
<laughs> We're gonna stop here then. This sounds great. <laughs> oh, good. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm trying to abandon hope. Oh my gosh. Uh, again, I'm not gonna read all of this. You guys can pause it if you want. I'm gonna kind of skim through and see if there's anything like super important that I need to uh, to know. Uh, da -da -da -da. Freezing, cause the dream would you know, 50-50 chance, good outcome. Okay. Looks like they're uh, not having to great of uh, a marriage going on. Hey, oh, great, great. That's awesome. Let's open it. <laughs> I didn't think so. I didn't think so. All right. All right. Um, something crazy gonna happen? Yes, it is. Oh, oh, wrong direction. It's so hard to tell what, which way the door's open. Hey, look a mouse! What is this room? What is that? Stop it, mouse! It's a sink of some sort. Oh, cool. Ew. Will it overflow? No. It's, it just drains. Okay, we're going to turn it off. Conserve water. Help the environment. And. And. Craziness do we do we have in store for us in here? Oh 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 wait what can I do? There we go. <laughs> Ooh, a bathroom. Oh, it's one of those lights that automatically come on when you walk in the room. <laughs> yeah. Oh What is up with you and this baby doll? Stop it. Silent floaters. They clog the drains. Fur in the water. No baths for me. Uh-oh. 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 Um, okay. Ew. Can I pull the plug on these things? Disgusting. Be a gentleman and put down the lid. Open! Here we go. Yeah, okay, this is the way we end. Do, do, nothing scary going on. Mm -mm, nope. Just walking through this crazy abandoned mansion. Uh, okay. Hmm, let's check this door. Okay, let's not check that door. Let's move along this way. Alright, um, let's... Ah, let's check this door. No, nope, nothing in there. Thought I saw something... Oh, it must have been the reflection. Okay, and... Locked! And locked. I bet this one's not. Wait, this is the same room. Uh, kind of. Well, a little different. A few more door. Oh, that was that was me. Okay, that was me. That was me. We've got a brick wall. Hey, looky there, we got another brick wall. 
<laughs> what do you know? Another one. Hmm. What's the odds of this one being a brick wall? I think... I think it may be. I think it's going to be a brick wall and something crazy is going to happen in the room. Incorrect. I don't... Uh-oh. Am I supposed to walk like this? I got this. I got this. It's, it's slowly making its way back. Okay. That wasn't as terrible as I thought. Every single horror movie has this in it. The one thing that you do not do is go down into a dark basement. That's why I turned the lights on. Okay. Um. Oh, well that's good. It seems like the cloths are just kind of, you know, searing themselves invisible. Uh Oh, I've got some crazy something going on. I couldn't tell if this if that was outside or in the game. But I've got some kind of nut sounds going on. Like everything's searing itself uncovered. All the way through. It's like reverse burning. Or no, I guess it would be accurately burning, but not really. I have no idea what the heck I'm supposed to be looking for. But I would assume that it's gonna be covered up by one of these things. That really does hurt my ears. There are random sinks all over the place. I'm going to turn that on because I may need some water here in a little bit. Oh, what's this? No, just a, a smudge. Whatever my clue was, it would, I would assume, be under, under one of these, uh, Cloths. It's so loud in my ear. All right. Ay ay ay. Let's keep doing it. Uh oh. Um. This doesn't seem good. Uh, hello? Oh, crap. It's an anti-gravity piano. Who would have known? Oh, is the water going up too? I can't tell. Okay, so I... Oh! Wait, what? I need to be finding something. Okay. Come on, gracious. Keep looking, keep looking. There's gotta be something somewhere, right? I can push all of this stuff. Look at this. <laughs> oh, oh. I was actually kind of having a little fun there. Then BOOM! <laughs> no fun for you. I needed to remove the flesh from the bone. At first I was lost as to how, but then I sawed it off with a handsaw, boiled it, then put the bone in a mortar. I had to get one, obviously. This was not something I'd done before. 
Finally, I mixed the dust with some white paint. It made for a lovely undercoat. So... So he ground up bone? And put it in his paint. So he's painting... Literally with people. His wife, probably? Wait, my wife, probably? I would assume that since we have the bone, this is going to be our third clue, or our third piece to the six-piece puzzle. Yeah, yeah, this seems like the, uh, the finishing room here. <clears throat> okay. So we have our... Flamingo turned meat cave. Turned. What in the blue blazes is that? I, I, I don't even know what to think this could be. But in any case, so we have flesh, blood, and bones. Huh. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, we have um, episode three of Layers of Fear. Lots more jump scares in this episode. Um pretty cool still i mean it's keeping me right on the edge of my seat so i have not lost interest thanks everybody for watching you guys are awesome uh, layers of fear crisis predator i'm out